Hi, this is Terry Vanoy. Welcome to this video series. We're going to be talking about algebra word problems. And this topic is all about mixtures. Okay, I'm going to give you two examples of common types of mixture word problems. A lot of these are found on standardized tests, and there's a certain um, way to think about it, a certain strategy. So I want to show you that to you. So this video is the introduction of the uh, basic type of mixture problems. We're going to go over some problem sets where you get to try some on your own and I'll work through and explain step by step how to do them. And then we'll finish with some self quizzes. I, I believe a couple of self quizzes at the end of this video series. So thanks for tuning in and let's get started. Alright now the basic idea with the unit price type of mixture problem is this. You have one container that has some kind of compound, some element here, and we'll call it molasses. Three ounces of molasses. We're going to add that to five ounces of honey, and the mixture, I'm not sure what you'd call it, um, honolasses or malunny, you know, we'll try to figure out some kind of fun name for that. Maybe we're uh, trying to uh, bake a new recipe, we want to mix it together. But, see, we're going to sell it at 50 ounce, 50 cents per ounce for molasses and 40 cents per ounce for honey. So what would the price per ounce of the mixture be? And that's kind of a nice basic question there. Well first of all let's look at the total here and that would be 8 ounces, right? So we want to make sure we have a total amount there but now let's look at the cost. So the cost of the molasses would be 50 cents per ounce, so 50 times 3 is 150 uh, pennies, let's call that a dollar fifty. So it costs a dollar fifty for that amount of molasses. We're going to add that to the cost of the honey, and so that's 40 cents times 5, that'd be two dollars. And of course the mixture then would be a total cost of 350. Alright, so here's the strategy. We want to figure out the total cost of the ingredients. We want to find out the total ounces and then we're going to have it as a price, a unit price. So, we're going to take the cost, 350, and divide it by the amount, which is 8. Alright, so when we divide that out, it's going to be 0.4375, which in the uh, world of money, of course, we're going to call that 43 cents, actually 44 cents rounded. All right, so there are word problems you'll incorporate here with this strategy, and the idea is that one of these things will be missing. Maybe you'll be asked how much molasses will give you that um, unit price, or what is the cost of the mixture, or how many ounces altogether. So part of this idea is missing. All right, so we want to basically find the total cost and the total um, amounts and then we have to come up with a unit price. So let's try this example. Alright, let's start with number one. It says two pounds of soybean oil which costs one dollar per pound was combined with four pounds of canola oil and that costs four dollars per pound. Find the cost per pound of the mixture. Alright, remember there's two things we've got to figure out here. We need to figure out the costs and we need to figure out the amounts. All right, so if you think you know how to do it, go ahead and pause this video, but I'm gonna work it out here in just a moment. Let's first look at the cost. We have soybean oil, and it's two pounds at a dollar per pound. So obviously that's gonna be, that's gonna cost us two dollars. All right, now we're gonna add that to four pounds of canola oil at four dollars per pound. Well that's got to be sixteen dollars, right? So it's going to be a total of eighteen dollars. Alright, pretty good so far. Now let's go over the amount. Well we've got two pounds of the soybean oil plus four pounds of the canola oil. That'll be a total of six pounds for our mixture. Now obviously we're just going to divide that out. So if it costs $18 for 6 pounds, what is the price per pound? Divide that out and you get $3 per pound. And we can write it like this. 
All right, now I know it's a fairly simple example, but you want to make sure that you break it down as a costs and amounts, and then you uh, kind of figure that out as a ratio. All right, next video is going to be a problem set where you're going to have one more of these um, unit price type of questions, and then we're going to have a solutions type of mixture um, pair of problems. So give that a try. Thanks for watching. Thank you.